Here in Puerto Rico, lawmakers are hoping their island paradise will join the ranks of the Bahamas and the Caymans as a tax-friendly playground for billionaires. With these new tax laws from the Puerto Rican government, we're seeing a lot of interest from people moving down here as a full-time resident. It's really a pretty good lifestyle. We want to attract people from all over the globe that could be important to help us grow. Allowed to determine its own tax laws, the U.S. Territory passed Act 22 last January, a law that exempts new residents from taxes on capital gains. The perfect bait for billionaire hedge funders looking to keep investment proceeds for themselves. One of the billionaires already taking advantage, John Paulson, who recently purchased the seven-star St. Regis Bahia Beach Resort. This would be the hedge funders' first big move to become a central business figure in Puerto Rico. And as we reported in March of this year, Paulson was rumored to be looking at buying a penthouse for him and his family. But one of the key requirements is that you must live in Puerto Rico 183 days of the year. And the hope is that the millions of dollars spent on the island will help pull Puerto Rico out of a seven-year recession. I plan to move between 300 and 500 persons in these four years, and that will create a lot of excitement in Puerto Rico. Private developers are selling the idea of a Geneva on the Caribbean, one that closely resembles Miami's South Beach, complete with high-end shops, luxury high-rises. This unit is one million three forty-five. Private airports. You can fly everything up to a G5. Private beaches, including the six-star Dorado Beach Resort. This place is just paradise. And of course, elite private schools such as the St. John's School, whose headmaster is the former deputy superintendent in hedge fund capital, Greenwich, Connecticut. We are getting more calls from families looking to relocate to the island. We know that we have the best academic program. We compare ourselves with the best uh, private independent schools in the mainland. Our administration's main goal is to create 50,000 jobs in 18 months by attracting very wealthy type of person. A person which is on the fence should take the next flight down and I think we don't have to convince him very much. Once he's here, he'll find out it's worth his while to consider moving. For now, those at the center of this new effort will continue to try to sell the idea to the world's wealthiest. We want to make certain that Puerto Rico begins to grow again and finds its rightful place in the global economy.